Yo guys, how's it going? Mad guys here, back once again. We're back in my tutorial series. This is tutorial four, I think it is. I'm sorry for the delay. I've been busy with my custom maps and such things like that. But this is a new tutorial showing you how to make nice, cur nice? nice curved walls and using some cool techniques to make some arches and stuff. That is pretty simple and wait, fairly straightforward if you follow these rules. So using our test area that we created, in the last few tutorials, we're gonna make a nice archway. So first off, just to like make this a little bit open, I'm just gonna delete that wall because that wall is just, just taking up too much space. So all I've done there is press shift and clicked on the wall, now pressing backspace, deletes this wall. So now we have the big area now we can play with to make some nice archways. So first things first, we're gonna keep our grid view on the right here. We're gonna keep it at grid, change it to grid four. Sorry, so we've got grid eight, so that keeps everything nice and symmetrical so there's not too many squares and it's not going to be too fiddly when you come to creating your like archways and your cylinders and things. So first things first, let's create a simple doorway arch. So find a texture, we're just going to go a simple brick texture, something like that. You will just find down similar to what we've got. Brick texture and all we're going to do is turn this into top down view mode by pressing control and tab till you find your top down view. And I'm going to go over here somewhere and draw out a 16 by 16 block right there. You see it's drawn on the screen there. Press Control and Tab again and we drag that up to, I don't know, we see about there we go, 128, just like that. So we now have that column there. And all I'm going to do now is simply copy that. With this selected, press Spacebar and that copies that. And then simply all I'm going to do is drag that along to about there like that so we have two pillars now that will be used to make a nice archway now to make an arch it is really really simple and it's not complicated at all remember we had these pillars at 16 by 16 so all i'm going to do now is draw another block over the top of that arch like so just by clicking and drawing a block in the 2d view and then what to do to make this into a curve i'm going to press shift and tab till i get to the top down view now this is the crucial part of making curved and arches and cylinders. The view that you look at when you make this type of curve is going to be the view that splits that off and makes this part remain the same. If I had it facing that way, it would keep it so it was flat like that. If I had it the other way, it would make that part the square flat piece. But we want it so it's the top down view remains the same as a flat surface. And you'll see what I mean by that in, in just a second just now. So what I'm going to do now is simply with this selected, go to patch, curve, and we're gonna to go to simple curve patch, and we wanna make this five points of curve. So we have one point in the middle, one point just halfway, one point there, and one point there, and then that's your five points of curve. So I just set this to five and five, just for simplicity reasons. So boom, five and five. Now you can see there, in the top down view, if we look in the 3D view, you see we have our patch there, which is flat like that, flat like the top down view, like I see you need to keep it that way. And same, if you go down and scroll, you will see now that it is turned it into a flat, flat little object like so, and it remains on that scale like that. This is where we go into a side view by compressing control and tab, and we see, we can now see what I'm looking at now in the 3D view. So to make this into a lovely curved archway, what we're gonna do now is simply press V on your control pad, control pad on your keyboard sorry and that's going to bring up the vertices and these are the five point vertices we added in remember i told you we we're going to put one two three then for five vertices on this you could have done three but it won't give you a nice enough smooth archway so with that done we are simply going to drag these vertices into position for our arch so holding alt on the keyboard we're going to sorry not holding alt to so drag over the corner of the corner vertices like so so we're looking at from this point of view and now you're gonna hold Alt on your keyboard and drag that down. And as you can see there, that started to curve, that point didn't move, that's just good. And then the same on the other side, drag, then press Alt and drag that down. You see now we start to have a bit of a curve going on. What I'm gonna do now is select the middle one, drag that and move that up to about there. Now you see these points here are the ones that make the curve. So if you drag that into there like that, that makes a curve that way, but we want to keep this fairly symmetrical, so I'm gonna drag this one into there like that, 
and this one into there like so and we have a lovely arch now you probably think well that doesn't look very full now here's the trick remember the size of these columns that we made was 16 by 16 with this selected you do not need to be in the vertex mode just have this selected like so you can now press Control shift and t to bring up the thickness patch now we want to make this the thickness of 16 so go 16 into there because remember the size of the columns are 16 and for it to match that's what we need so click ok and boom we have it there that is simply how to make a patch wall for it to like a an archway now you see we have those gaps in there now to fill that in all we need to do is press shift and left or right bracket near the enter key on your keyboard and boom that tidies that up there we still got a little bit of a gap there so we press it one more time and that tightens it and closes it into a lovely lovely archway and that is simply how to make one of the easy arches in your game now you can detail it up by adding more arches into there also you notice the bricks have curved around if you want to change the curvature on the bricks hold in shift and select the face that you want to change press s on your keyboard to bring up the surface inspector and simply hit natural and there you see it changes a little bit better so it looks a lot more nicer with the curves going around and it matches into it obviously the top part you can see it looks kind of stretched so we'll do the same again we'll press shift and select that one and go to natural looks lovely lovely stuff and the same for this side natural and there we go we have created a very very simple arch but let's go into a different way say you're making a tunnel so we'll just close off the surface inspect that like so and what i'm going to do now is do the similar type thing we're going to make another 16 by 16 block just like that drag that down to the floor like so if that is the floor yes that is so we've got a 16 by 16 block and i'm going to copy that paste that into there like so and now i'm going to draw a roof onto the top of this just like so another 16 16 block and we will make this into a nice long tunnel so select all of these go into our side view and then i'm simply just going to drag them out like so so we have a tunnel but that tunnel looks boring and bland we need to make this into a nice curved sort of ceiling part so same again what we are going to do is we're going to go into our view where we can see down our tunnel and we are going to draw in another patch like so like that and that will be what we are going to do the same as before with the curved arch on this one so what we do is press Control and tab get to a top-down view of that just like so and simply go to patch this time we are going to go patch curve and we will do the same so it actually is exactly the same so we've got curve within five i thought it was gonna be different but it isn't and once that has been done you can see now we have the flat surface there and it is nicely flushed up against that part we're going to press Control and tab again to get to the side view and simply press v to bring up your vertices once again select the corner you want to move drag it down by holding alt and using the left click we're going to drag it to about there same with that side drag it to about there and remember before we want to keep these symmetrical so drag them oh, see they have jumped so what i'll do now is i'll drop that down to another one there we go like that just change the the grid size if you need to i'll like to keep it on four and do stuff like this and there we have a lovely curved arch now you probably think well that doesn't look very good that doesn't look good at all so we're going to tidy this up once again with this selected press shift and bracket and that makes it a little bit smoother but you can see inside the brickwork is on the inside but not the actual inside of the tunnel it's tucked away so with this selected press Control and i and that inverts the textured brickwork now that looks horrendous so you can simply go and select that press s on your keyboard and natural and it tidies it up and looks a little bit better now we need to fill in these areas here which we have so once again shift and select that we can close off the surface inspector just like so and now we can go and press shift and c and when you press shift and c you get the dialog box for your bevels now the bevels are what are going to fill in these different areas now remember those four points that we dragged into the corner to make it all smooth that is where it will fill in respect to the shape of this domed thing on the opposite side so we want a lovely inverted end cap so the blue area is where it's going to fill i'm assuming and i've done this a while so let's try it so we click that inverted end cap and boom there you go it is filled in 
all of those lovely edges and you can simply press s again hit natural and it should work sometimes it doesn't work as easy as that but we can just go back and select unpatch the tunnel first off we can see the little join arrows there so like before we press shift and bracket smooth them off to get a lovely smooth area hit both on that however you can change around different light maps and stuff like that to find the brickwork that suits by pressing like on the surface inspector so light maps seem to work pretty well in there and there we have a lovely tunnel that is closed off both ends with end caps and fairly simple we can change that again just by pressing natural on that one and there we go that's how we've made a lovely tunnel and an archway just by using curves and it's really really that simple now next one i'm going to show you is just how to make a simple cylinder just so you guys can get the whole idea of the viewpoints of when you draw cylinders and stuff so the way i like to do it whichever way so we're going to go drag this out like so like that so i made a lovely cylinder 64 and like i said before we'll drag this down you can use it in the view window as well whichever way you're looking at on the 2d view when you go to create something like a patch or anything that is the way it's going to flatten out in your 3d view so we wanted to change the top down view it's hard on just like to try and t like explain it a little bit easier than that but that's as we as best i can so we are looking down on that now the top down view we want to make this into a lovely cylinder so we go to patch we now don't do curve or terrain we go to primitives cylinder and you'll see we have a lovely cylinder as it's curved it off on the top down view which is exactly what we want you can fill that in with the shift and right or left bracket to make it a nice tight or looking curve and it looks pretty awesome now to fill in the end cap on here all you want to do now is press shift and c and there you go you've filled in your end cap on there and shift and bracket again to close off the little tiny gaps of that and press escape and you have finished and made a lovely nice rounded capped off cylinder and that's pretty much all it is to these it's just like you got to work around and remember in your top down view is the way it is going to change when you use the patch options curve or primitives we'll get into patch terrain at a different time but for now i just thought i'd show you how to make some awesome curved tunnels and some awesome arches that look pretty cool and are simple using the cylinders and the curved patch technique so there you go guys, hope this did help you out in your creativeness for making cool zombie maps. Remember, detail helps a lot, it really, really does. Hope this tutorial did help you out. If it did, hit that like button, comment down below what you think. There should be a new tutorial coming sometime over the weekend, along with a new map update of mine as well. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe and continue to dropkick your grandma.